Hey, good evening, everybody. It's been a while since I posted here, so I just thought that I would check in after a little bit of a difficult week. You know, it's it's funny. It's funny when you plan for the week ahead on like a Sunday and the things that you anticipate might cause you difficulties are actually the easiest part of your week. And some other shit just comes in to blindside you and kind of bring you down just a little bit. So looking into this week, this was one of the first times that I was going to travel some substantial distance in order to go to an English camp, in order to teach a new lesson that I had not taught before that I didn't really have a hand in making, but you know, I'm in this thing and I have to do my part. And overall, the traveling wasn't really too bad. I'm not a big fan of the car rides, but the lesson itself was not too difficult. And the students are a bunch of sweethearts. And today I came into work to iron out a few wrinkles in the lesson plan, but I feel a lot more confident going into a new camp tomorrow. What really got me down and what I found to be the theme of this week has just been letting people down. It all started on Monday. When I left for my first camp, I told my supervisor, look, I have to take the rest of my vacation day. So I think I'm going to take the, the other three days of this week off. And I forgot to give her that advance notice. And she was real disappointed. She sent me a Facebook message saying that she was really upset that she would rely on my support this week and that I had let her down and that I had to do better. So of course I apologized and said that I would do better. And the following day, on Tuesday, I posted my next blog, which got a lot of views. I was very, very surprised that posting about my three coworkers that are going to be departing, paying a little bit of homage, would actually receive such uh, good reviews from so many people. But I did say some things that cast one of my coworkers in a less than ideal light. And he sent me some messages on Facebook saying that he was disappointed that he felt embarrassed and that people at work and the trainees read my blog and I shouldn't put him on blast like that. So that's another problem that I have sometimes is when I first started writing, you know, I really wanted to talk to my friends and my family back home and let them know what's been going on in my life here in Korea. It's a really good way to keep in touch with people and to share my adventure with the folks back home. Sometimes I forget though, that when I start writing about people that I work with or people that I teach, that they might also come to read what I have to write and that there sometimes are consequences to that. And then today, a trainee, she sent me a message during lunch saying, uh, Ian, do you know what today is? You know, and I was racking my brain. I was racking my brain. I was like, ah, oh, man, I have no idea. So, of course, like, I'm cheeky bastard. I just text back, it's hump day. Woo -woo. She thought that was funny. But what I didn't think was funny was that I completely forgot that the week before, I had made a plan with her and her friend to go to a cafe and grab a cup of coffee after lunch. Completely forgot. And, you know, she didn't remind me because she thought that I forgot and she said that she was real disappointed and I said that I was sorry. So again, another person that I let down this week. And on top of that, my supervisor had to come talk to me because uh, my entries in the NICE system regarding my days off this week were not entered correctly to the point where the director was a little bit irritated with my lack of propriety. For those that don't know, the NICE system is a network of Korean education system that lets us record our days off, our business trips, our sick days, our hospital visits, basically anytime that we're not into work, when we're scheduled to work, we should have a record so that that way they are aware and that they can track the vacation and the sick days that we used. So I just felt like day after day, the theme of this week has just been letting people down and it's been bringing me down a little bit. I feel really bummed out, especially after I've been trying this such an effort to drink a lot less and to try to live a more sober lifestyle. I have more to write about that in the future, about why I think I'm reaching the end of the road. 
when it comes down to alcohol. But at the end of the day, it feels really good to just get some things off of my chest. And I know that this too shall pass, but in the moment, it just hurts. It sucks to think about letting people down, about really honestly doing the best I can, but still sort of failing to live up to the promises that I make and to be the best employee that I can be. You know, I'll ride again. I'm going to be okay. But just wanted to check in. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. If anybody listens to this and I appreciate all of you. And this is Ian. Until next time, cheers.